I'm Mas Banka from Kaiser Power Electronics. Um, when I look for electronics uh, here and there, and especially the high power kind, I often get uh, by computers, uh, new and old, that have been scrapped. And I always take out the CPU, the RAM, and anything else uh, of uh, value, like graphic cards. When it comes to recycling the ICs, the CPUs, uh, RAM, and heat sinks, and heat spreaders, and so on, heat pipes um, for uh, money later on. So uh, I want to take a look at today how can we make money on this by uh, recycling it to a company that does in precious metals uh, recovery and not do this with chemicals ourselves. Um, the, um, the money earned on this is of course, of course much lower uh, when we don't uh, recover the uh, precious metals uh, ourselves, but it's also a whole lot less time consuming because it will take you like half an hour to sort the stuff, fill out the export papers, and then get it shipped away, receive the money in your bank account, and it's all good. There is no crushing, there's no sorting, there's no waiting, there's no uh, uh, assets, there, and I'm really not that good at chemistry, so I'd rather stay clear of uh, the, uh, the approach uh, by, uh, by doing that. And there's also already a thousand videos on YouTube about how to recover gold and silver and so on from um, IT uh, scrap. So uh, I want to show you a alternative method uh, and this really only goes by if you live in Europe but I'm pretty sure that even in the most other countries there are companies just like the one I will show you that I have used a few times before and also, we use uh, in this example video where we first look at what I have. We I show you how to fill out the papers. We see uh, what the expected uh, earnings are and how much we really have to ship because there is a, um, of course, a how much you earn to shipping costs radio that has to be right. And then uh, once I get the payment, uh, I will see uh, how close to the estimate we really got. So let's take a look at how much one single PC is worth and then what collection I have after a, I would say, uh, maybe a good year of collecting uh, stuff from computers. So let's take a look. So here in front of me uh, we have the parts that I have scavenged from a uh, Pentium 4 PC. This is what you can expect to find inside. There is uh, the CPU with a uh, copper heat spreader. There is uh, the GPU from the graphics card, there's the heatsink from the graphics card, there's the heatsink from the CPU, which in this case has a nice heavy copper core. There is 2 GB of uh, RAM with the gold uh, pin connections, and there is a, a piece of uh, steel here to symbolize the whole uh, enclosure and so on. When we look at the total um, scrap value of a PC. Now, the precious metal recovery companies are only interested in precious metals, which automatically rules out aluminium, copper, steel, and also the copper heat spreader of the CPU, which is easy to pry off. So, this is basically what they are interested in. What they also do say is, if you have metals like these, there are no reason to throw them out, but sell them to a local scrap dealer, because they are too heavy and not worth as much. Uh, so there's no absolutely no reason to ship this uh, to another country or to some other part of your own country to, uh, to sell it. So I will take notes of the weight of the different components that we have uh, here in the uh, PC. So if we start with the uh, plastic CPUs. We have uh, 10 gram, the 2 gigabyte of gold pen RAM, that's uh, 30 gram of uh, gold pen. Then if we take a look at the uh, copper weight, we are at 200 grams. And the aluminium. 300 grams. I'm not going to do anything about uh, weighing the steel because uh, it's like 
cents and uh, euro uh, cents uh, worth uh, per kilogram. So I'm not even going to bother with that. That's just getting returned to the scrapyard as is. Now let's uh, take a look at my collection. This is uh, gathered over uh, about a year, maybe more. Uh, I don't exactly remember, but it's not really important how, how long it took because it's all about chance. If you get by when there is computers thrown out, you, you can't be there all the time. So get by scrapyards, uh, ask family and friends what they're throwing out. But the real money maker here is, of course, the uh, ceramic gold CPUs. And these only come from uh, old equipment. There's really no way to find those um, in, in good supply anymore. They are hunted all over the uh, the internet and the entire globe because of their very high gold content. But these also have a very high price uh, from the precious metal companies. So uh, let's first take a look at the uh, CPU collection. These are uh, plastic CPUs. And what I do is I remove all the... Um, the copper heat spreaders because they simply weigh too much to uh, ship off to uh, another country um, and I sell them as a uh, local copper scrap instead uh, so these just go by uh, plastic CPU uh, in, uh, in terms of uh, the, uh, the amount of money you get for these so if we take a look at how much they weigh And it's all over the place. And of course the weight is going into uh, liquid mode. Oh well, it's all the same. It was 240 grams of plastic CPUs. The weight just uh, says that one milliliter is uh, one gram anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, then we have the uh, gold pin uh, RAM modules, as these have to be sorted into silver pin and gold pin. There is uh, 1800 grams. And the uh, silver pinned RAM modules, these have a, uh, a lower price as the only gold content in these uh, are uh, inside the RAM chips itself. 750 grams. And now we are at the exciting point where we have to weigh the gold CPUs because these are made from ceramic material, so they are in themselves very heavy. There is 500 grams. So let's uh, get these numbers plotted into a uh, Excel sheet and see uh, how much money we expect to get from this shipment. I would like to start out by showing the website of the ESG, which is the Edelmetall Services. Uh, this is the company that I have used. It is located in Germany, so shipping prices from Denmark to Germany is pretty fair. They uh, have recently, uh, within the few last years, bought the domain preciousmetalservices.com. And this is the front page that you uh, get to. So. Uh, at once we can see that we want to look at the precious metal refining uh, for electronics waste. So if we click here, we uh, get to uh, a front page here where, okay, what we would like to see. Ah, yeah. Price and sorting criteria for electronic waste. So now here you have uh, today's uh, updated prices uh, that they purchase at. And we can scroll down through the page here to see that they buy up all kinds of uh, motherboards, circuit boards, populated boards, power supplies, backplanes, connectors, gold connectors, mobile phone circuits, complete uh, IT uh, equipment. And here we get down to the uh, really sorted out uh, components where we can also see that the price is much higher. And this is uh, processes are sorted into five uh, categories, RAM into two, chips into two also, 
and then there are also um, some more for hard drives, drives, power supplies, cables. But all this is really uh, low cost and there's no reason to uh, look into that. Um, it is RAM, CPUs and ICs that is uh, worth exporting to this company. So if we go back to the top or to the front page, they have put in some quick links over here in the right side, which says often needed only one click away. And that is the cover note. The cover note is very important because these are the uh, legal export papers that actually makes it possible for, de for them to buy the goods from you. And there are some different um, cover notes here and it is the cover note for electronic waste that is uh, the one we will be using. Here is the spreadsheet that I have made and used to uh, calculate beforehand what I'm uh, sending to uh, the company. Because when you send them a shipment they will uh, email you back with their proposed uh, buying price. And you have to say OK to that price, else they will uh, gladly return the goods to you again. So that's also a very nice service that you get a price beforehand um, and you can say yes or no to that. So if we first took a, take a look at our single PC uh, example, what that is worth. Um, we had uh, the plastic CPU, we had uh, 10 grams. And then uh, we had uh, 30 grams of... Um, gold pin RAM and that totals to 0 0.81 euro. Now that is not much for uh, a single PC. I also added down here the uh, scrap metal value for aluminium and uh, copper so we can also try to uh, put that in. And here we can see that the uh, scrap metal value is actually at 1 euro so it is better paid to take the metals from a PC than the electronics waste. But then again, just collect the electronics waste. At the end you will have gathered enough so it has some sort of value. If we take a look at the um, whole collection, that sums up to um, Two hundred and forty grams of uh, plastic CPUs, five hundred grams of uh, gold CPUs. Then we had one point eight kilogram of uh, gold pin RAM and seven hundred and fifty gram of uh, silver pin RAM. Now this is a uh, hundred euro. That is a whole lot better. That is a 750 so so um, Danish crowns and shipping costs to Germany for a, uh, the smallest package possible um, is 140 uh, kilograms uh, 140 crowns since uh, it weighs uh, over 2 kilograms I cannot send it that cheap uh, then it will only have been 100 crowns. So the uh, total profit for this shipment should be 81 euro. Now you could argue that I could probably make at least maybe five, six times this uh, if I recovered the gold myself. But then again, I do not have the equipment. I do not have the uh, chemicals. And just the time spent doing all this, it's, I, I don't see it being worth it. I would earn more money just taking some overtime at work instead. This is the precious metal cover note. Pay especially attention to what it says in bold up here. Please fill out this form, sign it and include it with your securely wrapped scrap. It is important that this is shipped alongside with the goods because without they are not legally uh, permitted to um, or say receive this electronics waste because it is considered dangerous uh, waste in the uh, Europe uh, regulatives uh, on this. So it is very important that you have this paperwork filled out correct with the correct statements of what you are shipping and so on. So here I have filled it out uh, with uh, my name, my uh, street address and just a generic uh, phone number and email address. Um, 
I do not uh, want a VAT uh, deduction because I'm a private. And that is another good thing about uh, ESG, that they deal with privates and also down to very small uh, amounts of uh, waste. Uh, I want to uh, get uh, a message by email uh, about the worth of the, um, the shipment and if I want to accept it. Uh, here you have to uh, plug in your uh, bank account uh, details. This is the iBand and Swift uh, number. Uh, the Swift is also called uh, BIC, BIC number uh, in some cases. These are also just some generic numbers from a, a Danish bank. Now here comes the scrap details which is important. Because you have to state exactly what you are shipping to them and you have to state what kind of um, materials you think that is uh, present and you have to uh, in your remarks you can state in uh, how many grams uh, you are sending of each um, and then you have to uh, yeah print it out and sign it and put it in the package i hope you enjoyed watching this video and got a idea of how you can make money without dealing with chemically or mechanically refining um, computer scrap for a little money. So uh, I hope you like this uh, alternative and uh, so collect some uh, old computer stuff and uh, mark it up, ship it, get the money. See ya.